that inspires Uganda. Welcome to Christian Focus. My name is Prince Nick. Hope you had a great week and I believe you're going to enjoy what we are discussing this evening. Today we are talking about <coughs> relationships. Relationships. <coughs> I believe if you are not married then you are dating or you are divorced or someone just, I'm not going to say that, but eventually <laughs> somehow, somehow every one of us is into relationships. Now I'm hosting once again Dr. Wilson W. Mwanguzi, on my extreme left. You're welcome to the show, Doctor. Thank, thank you. Praise my the brother, Lord. once again, nice to be here. Amen. On my favorite show. Oh, glory on, to on God. UBC. So this is your favorite show on UBC? Well, very much. I'm humbled. It, it so much relates to me. Amen. Yes. And on my immediate left is Pastor Hilda A. Mwanguzi, and she's Mrs. Mm. to Doctor. You're welcome to the show, madam. Thank you. I'm humbled to be here. Amen. <laughs> These two people are the team leaders at um, Great Thinkers Church yeah. along Entebbe Road. And uh, as I told you today, we are talking about relationships. Mm -hmm. Now, doctor and madam, mm -hmm. yeah. pastor, yeah. why we are here is because I came across two books. Okay. And I understand you two people wrote these two books. <laughs> One of them is Getting a Wife Without Messing a Life or Messing Life. That's right. <laughs> then the other book is Getting a Husband Without Missing a Heartbeat. Mm. Yeah, wow! Right. <laughs> Very wonderful titles here. Mm. Then I'll let this mm. to a post I saw recently on Facebook. Mm. Someone wrote on Facebook that uh, he wonders what happens to the girls today. Mm. They go to church, mm. fast and pray for husbands or for mm. guys or for men mm. to, to marry them. Mm. But uh, after a church service, they're, they're, they're so fast to run back home as if they're the stoves on which they're going to warm them. <laughs> you understand? Mm. Even yeah. uh, after, after any engagement, church or fellowships and stuff like that, they run away. They don't mm. give room to, 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 to relate with people. So mm. how are you going to get a husband? Mm. Now, when I read this, I thought that today is a wonderful opportunity sure. for us to discuss this. Yeah. Sure. How does one get a husband without missing out? Well, um, everything starts with the right formula. Yes. Yeah, you've been talking about how ladies in church pray so much and then afterwards run out. Yes. I think they are like someone who mixes paint and then they expect to get porridge. Come again, someone mixes paint and someone mixes get... paint yes. and expects to get porridge. They are in church on their knees praying, mm. expecting to get a husband. Mm. We don't get husbands on our knees mm. by prayer. Mm. Oh. No, mm. we don't get mm. our husbands on our knees. I will, I will, I will keep you at that. Mm. When we come, mm. where do we get the husbands? Exactly. <laughs> Gentlemen, yes. Dr. Muawis, <laughs> how does one get a wife without missing a life? <laughs> and what, what do you mean with that? title of that book? Yes. Um, I think apart from the title, Without Messing a Life, uh, the, the book, the general story in the book talks about how one gets a wife. Mm. As simple as that. Mm. Mm. And uh, I try to, to, to tackle a lot of issues that I feel, according to research and experience, I've, and, uh, that I've seen have been so much left out. Mm. Uh, at, this is a generation where you just meet someone on the street and say to them, I love you, and tomorrow you go and embark on starting this uh, very wonderful life called marriage, not knowing what is going to come after, but then you just bump into someone on the streets and go and begin to make uh, 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 a marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, on top of that, uh, I really want to I, I go ahead to address the, the you know, I, I already, I've already said that uh, the romance untold, untold in church, it was is, is what has killed the spirit much taught in church. Mm, mm. Uh, I, I call upon church to come up and to begin to talk about these issues without shyness, mm. Mm. to put serious attention on it because everything begins with the family. Mm. And so when our attention is off the family, mm. then uh, we are not doing anything great to this nation and to the entire world. Mm. And so how one does, of course, is a, is a lot. Mm. 
But uh, let me go back to the story I had you ask, uh, mm, Madam mm, here. Mm. The post on, on, on yeah. social yeah. media that, that on, came across. That post on social media. Yes. We've tried uh, so much to tell people that it's beyond your knees. Mm. As a matter of fact, there's no one that God called to just stay on their knees all the time. Mm. Because after kneeling, then you stand up and take a step. Mm. I can give you a very clear example in uh, Lut. Uh, every one of us know the story of Lut. Mm. And uh, Lut had daughters. Yeah. And this is a very interesting story yes. that I really believe can relate to that. Mm. Mm. Lot had daughters. And uh, these daughters, the Bible says, he stayed with them in the cave. Mm. Mm. I want you to figure out a, a, a gentleman, a father, with the two daughters staying in the cave. Mm. Mm. And then uh, after a long time they are in the cave, the daughters came up with a suggestion and they had a reason. Mm. Mm. Their reason was, there is no man to come unto us mm. as is the manner of the earth. Teri musajja jeje tuli nga wuchibira ngu mwala hakuzi. But I want us to think about that. Mm. No man comes to us. Mm. But think about well, the daughters who are in the cave yeah, yeah. with their father. Exactly. Now, mm -hmm. thank you, doctor. Mm. I'm imagining these parents who keep their girls mm. in their fences mm -hmm. when you talk about that cave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We shall come back to you. Mm. Thank you. Pastor Hilda. Mm. Yes, please. You mentioned that mm. husbands are not gotten on our knees. Mm. Where are they gotten from? Um, I believe, uh, as it is the notion in the book of Genesis, mm. that story, that famous story, Adam and Eve, after they fell into sin, this is what Adam says, mm. the woman you that gave you me. gave to me. Yes. Okay. Since then, God said, okay, he who finds a wife mm. finds a good thing. Mm. And or finds he favor. Who, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that so means you know even you a husband. Favor, man. <laughs> <laughs> that means, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> that means mm. even a husband is found. Mm. Okay? So when you go on your knees and pray, the best that God will give you is a sharp sight for mm. you to be able to see. Mm. 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 Or a discerning mind for mm. you to be able to choose. For God gives you a sharp you. sight mm -hmm. and a discerning mind. And a That's discerning right. mind. Sharp sight to see, mm. then uh, a discerning mm. mind exactly. to choose yes. exactly. what is best for you. Exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. mm. I so, love this. <clears throat> after you have prayed and God has given you a discerning mind, this is what ladies miss out from. Mm. They think after praying, God is maybe going to point with a long finger and say, that, that one. is the guy. <laughs> God is not but going to but do about that. stories of that, <laughs> that God has given you this man, you know, in fact, some pastors are good at saying that. <laughs> God has given you this you man. You know how you prove mm, that story, mm, whether it is true or mm, not, mm. Or, or, or that prophecy, whether it's true or not? Mm. Check out the super having conflict. That's when they begin to curse. They start saying, mm -mm, I mm -hmm. think I saw wrongly. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I think God did not tell mm. I think it was something else that talked. So, Sometimes we put things in God, put words in God's mouth mm. that He didn't say. Mm. Mm. God did. God did not like the fact that Adam was blaming him mm. on the wife mm. he created. Mm. Okay, mm. so He said, "Okay, now all that I'll ever do is to give you a sharp sight mm. and a discerning mind, mm. so that you choose from the multitudes mm. that there are. Mm. There are many men before us." Yeah, true. Just as there are many women before men, mm. okay? So, ladies, after going on their knees, there are some who will pray for years, and then they say, God has never showed me anything. Mm. But is his ear closed? Mm -hmm. No, it is not closed. Mm -hmm. He hears you. Mm. Why doesn't he answer you as immediately mm. if his ear is not closed? Mm. That means he has left you to use your sight. By the way, they are... The, God gave us wisdom. God gave us a mind. Mm. There are things God leaves us to do for ourselves mm. that he will not do for us. Mm. For example, if I gave you a check and then you come back asking for cash, what do you expect me to do? Just look at me and say, what's wrong with me? So there are those times where God looks at us and he's like, okay, what is going on with this person? Mm. I gave you a mind. I gave you eyes to see. 
I gave you whatever it takes, even a mouth to choose, mm. to say I want this or I want the other. Mm -hmm. You still want me to choose for you. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Dr. Hilda before, I, I mean Pastor Hilda before I, I go away from you again. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. this girl, this mm -hmm. lady has gone on her knees mm -hmm. and God has given her this sight, sight. Mm -hmm. and has given her this discerning mind. Yes. What things should she look out? Exactly. Whoa. That is a very wonderful question. We go back to the we go back to the book, the mm. title of the book. Mm. Getting a husband without missing your heartbeat. Mm. Okay? Mm. Now let's invert that a little bit. Heartbeat. Mm. Let's look at the heartbeat. Mm. Where does your heart beat from? Mm. Where does your heart beat from? Mm. Okay? I'll use myself as an example mm. because I'm the best example here. Mm -hmm. My heartbeat was serving God. Of all the men that were in the lineup for me, mm. because there was not only him, mm. there were many. Uh, you, you, you heard that. <laughs> there were you, many. You were <laughs> <laughs> there were many. Yes. I was looking at many applications yes. here. Mm. And <clears throat> I was looking out for which man mm. has my heartbeat. Mm. My heart beat for God. Mm. My heart beat for ministry. Mm. My heart beat was in who do I want to be? Mm. Where is my destiny? Mm. What do I want to be? Mm. That is a woman's heartbeat. Before you choose from anyone, sit down with yourself. Have a meeting with yourself mm. and say, who do I want to be? Mm. My husband usually says something that you are... Uh, uh, I don't know, he says African men are rich because mm. when they marry women, they marry everything that they come with. Mm. You know, they marry their visions, they marry their dreams, mm. they marry their destinies. Mm. And I go like, oh, that is sad. But it is true. Mm. A man comes to a woman, mm. says, I love you. Mm. She drops education. Mm. She drops her talents. Mm. She drops who she wants to be. Mm. She has seen a man. Mm. Okay. Is the man the ultimate dream a woman should have? Really? Okay. So we go back to the heartbeat. Check out who do you want to be? What do I want to be? Let the man I choose be able to handle what I want to be. No, and not maybe that one who causes you to drop mm, your dreams, okay, your yes. ambitions. Mm. And no. if that man is like, I will not be able to handle that. Oh, he has no idea. By the way, he may not say he will not be able, but he will show lack of idea. Mm. My husband here has every idea of everything I want wow, to be. Wow, and wow. he empowers that every day. Wow. He mentors that every mm. day. I believe every woman needs a man mm. that can do that mm. for her. Mm. Do you know why? Because I believe a relationship is like a bicycle. Mm. It mm. has two tires. Mm. The man is the front tire. Mm. I, the woman, am the back tire. Mm. There is nothing the back tire will do that the front tire has not done. Wow. Doctor. Yes. Pastor puts it very wonderfully. Mm. Sharp sight, a discerning spirit. Right. Then you find who you are mm. so that that sight can identify the person mm. that you're led with exactly. to achieve what you are. Mm. How does a man go to that cave? <laughs> You talked about the cave. Mm, exactly. And, uh, mm. and, uh, because uh, now I can imagine, mm. pastor is here praying, she's mm. getting good sight and getting that sharp, I mean, the, mm. that wisdom, mm. and then someone must come into that cave so mm. that she can be able to identify. No, I, I think I need to make this clear. Mm. No man mm. goes to the cave. Yes. You know, you can, you can exist even when you're not seen. Mm. Mm. Men are attracted to what they see. It's a fact of life. Mm. Before God even showed, God actually, God did not, I was attracted to this lady. Mm. I was attracted. Before mm. anything, she was prayerful. Before I even saw her inside, how spiritual, I was attracted to mm. her. Mm. So men are attracted by what they see. Mm. Yeah. So these, these girls, back to that story, they said there's no man mm. that comes to us as is the man of years. Mm -hmm. Obviously, no man could go to them right. because they were in the cave. They were hidden. Right. They were That's hidden. Right. And so, 
uh, I wouldn't want to be, I think, the right person to say it. Maybe my wife would be the one mm -hmm. saying it. Mm -hmm. That women, at a certain point, especially these young ladies, mm -hmm. need to come up. Mm -hmm. Need to come up. Need mm -hmm. to be evident. Need mm -hmm. to be seen somewhere. Get out. Then need, need to get out mm -hmm. from That's where right. they are. That's right. Use your talent. Mm -hmm. Use your intellect. Mm -hmm. I need to see it. Mm -hmm. Be evident. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about the period? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll use a very scenario. Mm -hmm. When girls in the, in the evenings pull out their slippers and do that kind of work. <laughs> and then go to the well and stuff like that. <laughs> it's fun, really, the way you've, you've, because you've given me an image of this village girl. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, she wants to be seen. Yeah. You know? She wants yeah. to come up. And yeah. uh, I, I, I think, mm. I think um, we are seen in several ways. Yeah. Mm. I, I want to be attracted to that voice. Speak out. Mm. Be significant. Mm. I need to see something you do that is really significant that can make me say, wow. Yes. You know? Yes. I, I don't know what you can say. What mm. happens when, when you look at my, my lady before you hear mm. her sweet so mm. you want to listen to her bef because of the way she looks. Mm. Mm. I think that will, will come. She's in better position to talk about yes, it. Yes, but it right. is also part of what I'm talking about. Mm, yeah. But coming out is in many ways. Mm. There are, there are so many ladies that are silent and seated on who they are supposed to be. Mm. Exactly. You know, we, we are attracted. I, I want to see you dance. Mm. I want to see you sing. I, want, I can be easily be attracted to that sweet voice. Mm. You know, that talent you are doing. Mm. When you are dormant and dull, and, mm. uh, there's no way. N a woman must be in a position mm. that at every, in every place they are, mm. at any time, mm. They can have something on them that attracts them to that lets other people attracted to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the, the women are like flowers, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. You can't dodge them. You can't miss them. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are a girl out there and uh, you feel you're okay, hmm? no one says anything, and you think you're okay. I, I think it's you we are talking about. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. you're not supposed to be. It, it isn't supposed to be like that. Mm -hmm. We are attracted to women. Mm -hmm. You provoke bees. Mm -hmm. I say it again, women, you have the, 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 the po pollination we need. Mm -hmm. the po exactly. we, you have what we need. Mm -hmm. And so you're talking. I don't expect a woman to just talk anyhow. We don't want to be in a room and we are like bulls, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. No, no, the, the society becomes dull then. Because, but I want to hear somebody talk and I notice that must be a what? A That's why the Bible is again as a brawling woman. Mm. The Bible says it's better to be in a house with, it's, it's dangerous to be in a house with a brawling mm. woman. Exactly. Better to, to hide in a, a corner mm. in eh? the attic of, in, a house. A, mm. of a house than being in the same room with, with a, brawling a brawling woman. Yeah, exactly. Now, mm. very interesting. Mm. I'm going to, 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 to help our viewer. Yes. A single guy, a single lady, trying to figure out how to work out things. Mm. Mm. Pastor Hilda is going to help us understand, mm. because from your experience and mm. having written this book, mm. yes. you know what men look out for, for. in a mm. woman. Mm. Mm. So as you you get that sharp sight yes. and that discerning spirit, yes. you should also get yourself ready for someone exactly. to come and get you. What exactly. are those things that men look out for in a woman? Um, my husband here has just said that men are attracted to beauty. Mm. Okay? Thank God we are in an age where people have embraced looking good. Mm. They have embraced doing wonderful hairstyles. They have embraced putting on like f in a fancy way, mm. looking good. Mm. But I believe it is beyond that. Mm. Okay? I believe it is beyond that. Something happened on social media where um, a, a man was complaining of his wife. You know, he takes her, she has all this makeup and all these weaves and all this going on. Mm. And then after taking her at home and all that goes off, she's like, oh, no, what's this? this <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, so, <laughs> before you go away, someone told me that if you want to see if your woman is really beautiful mm. in the morning before mm. she, she has made up, then look at her. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm humbled that my, my, my lady is beautiful even, even without makeup. In, in, in the morning, she's most beautiful in the morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that is good. Yeah. That is good. I love it. But even then, mm. I would want to borrow a scripture from the Proverbs, yeah. which says, when you over visit your friend, you outwear your welcome. Mm. Now, if over visiting your friend mm -hmm. makes you outwear your welcome and the other person gets tired of you, how much more two people staying together 
for one year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year. People celebrate 25 years, 75 years. What is it that is going to keep you with this person for that long mm. without him getting tired of you? Mm. We come back to when he's oh. getting you. Mm. We come back to when he's getting mm. you. If he is looking out for only beauty, don't work on only beauty. Mm. Be more than beautiful. Mm. Have the Brains. mind. Men want supportive women. Mm. If you are to support a man, mm. It is beyond standing beside him. Mm. That's right. Okay? Mm. When my husband is away, he can make a phone call and say, Hilda, we are working on this client. I want you to do this. I want you to do that. And I want you to do that. Mm. That means he still needs me mm. even when we are not together mm. physically. Mm. Okay? Mm. When he is out there and he has forgotten maybe something, he'll call me and say, Ha, Hilda, I would want you to go and meet this very important person. I can meet his important mm. people. Mm. I can work on his job, work mm. together mm. with him. Mm. I can help with the family. Mm. Okay? Mm. So meaning I'm supporting him financially. I'm helping raise the family. Mm. And I preach with him. Mm. He's seen a preacher in me. Mm. When he's not on the pulpit and he can't meet that appointment, mm. I can meet it for him. Mm. I am that supportive. Mm. Okay? Mm. So what does a man look out for in a woman? Mm. He's looking for a supportive mm. woman. Mm. Mm. Lady out there, <clears throat> Pastor Hilda is giving you a strategy to package yourself right. The men, so many of them out there looking for you. Wonderful way how to make yourself appeal to them. Doctor, yes. how, what does a woman look because I believe after she has shared, yes. prepared herself like, like the uh, pastor has done, mm. I mean mentioned, mm. and now got in that sight mm. and discerning, then mm. she wants to find that man. So what are those things that are going to come for? Um, Going by your experience yes. and observation. Exactly. Um, especially, first of all, thank you. She, she, has, she has really touched me so mm. much when she was talking mm. here. Um, I can say it over and over again. Whether women intend it in the beginning, whether they think about it in the beginning or not, they will end up falling in for a visionary man. That's right. Because a man without a vision is empty. Mm. That's right. Not even money. You cannot compare money with vision. Mm. Uh, because, you know, women are a, a creature that lives to be envisioned. That's right. That's why even when we are getting there, we, even when we don't have we promise them things that are not there. Right. We show them the future. Mm -hmm. And for them, they are ready to settle for that mm -hmm. before they see it in the physical. Mm -hmm. You keep telling them, we, we shall have a good house. Mm -hmm. We shall buy a good car. Mm -hmm. So, you cannot envision another Without if you, you don't have a vision. Have a vision. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh man, let me talk to you. You cannot envision another without yourself having a vision. That's right. And this is where I think the major crisis is today. Mm. When a man lacks vision, he cannot envision another there. And that's what men, we, I mean women, mm. are looking for mm. fast. Mm. Now, forget about this confusion of chips and chicken. Mm. Mm. For, forget about all that. Th those are lies, you know, uh, what should I call them? Those are fancy lies, mm. you know. But why, why, why do they come out so prominent <laughs> in, in relationships? Of course, <laughs> the generations we are in, mm. you know, we, we, we have shallow bases. Mm. That's right. Uh, in the end of it all, mm. it's the vision that matters in mm. a man. Wow, you mentioned something very profound. Yes. Mm. If you want a shallow man, mm. go for a man who satisfies you with his chips, chips and, and chicken. 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 Yes. But if you want a serious Thank you. marriage material man, exactly. go for a person who has vision. vision. Wow, right. I love this. I'm telling mm. you. Yeah, because 
they have become so fancy. And we keep telling people, can you look beyond uh, chips and chicken? Mm. Yeah. Normally, we are in counseling. Mm. And uh, someone comes, they are crying tears. You tell them, but you know why? You, you even try to tell them and advise them, but don't you think you are going for danger? And, and men today, they, they know. They know what these young ladies mm. want. Mm. They know chips and chicken. So they come prepared for their 30,000. Mm. What is 30,000 to, to, mm. to, to a man? Who, who is up, up to something mm. and they put you into a trap because mm. that, that's all you uh, that's all you want I, I would, that's all you, they see that's all you've shown them mm. you're worth mm. uh, 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 the Bible says without vision people, people perish, perish. That's right. yeah. mm. well you know doctor time is again it starts, but I was starting to enjoy the whole bit of this show yeah. it's as if we are just starting mm. well I believe for more of the information that uh, Dr. and Pastor Mwangs have been sharing with us, yes. please get yourself a copy of Getting a Husband Without Missing Your Heartbeat. Mm. You understand? And then Get a Wife Without Missing a Life. Mm. Whatever they have shared on the show is in these two books. Yeah. It's been a pleasure hosting you. Thank you. Yeah. I want to host you again, yes. this time around, talking about the married is now. Exactly. Mm. Because we have seen a lot of problems oh, yeah. in yeah. marriage That's today. Right. Did they get this foundation that you're talking mm -hmm. about? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. somehow, somehow things never worked out. Exactly. exactly. Well, it's been a pleasure hosting you. Mm. Have a blessed week. From myself and the entire production crew that I worked with and the UBs at large, mm. see you next Sunday. Mm.